Today we have to find the area of this inscribed square. Only given thing is this radius of the quarter circle, which is 10. Can you solve it? Let us label the side of this square as X. If you see this line of the square, it also represents the chord of the quarter circle. So we can use a perpendicular bisector, which will divide this chord into two equal parts. Therefore, this piece will be X over 2. This piece is the same as the side of the square that is X. Now consider this right triangle. Since both of these lines are parallel, therefore this perpendicular bisector will also divide this side into two equal parts, and thus both of these angles will also be the same, which will be 45 degrees. So, this will be an isosceles right triangle, which means all of these angles will be 45 degrees. Now consider this part. Both angles are equal, therefore this side will also be equal to x over 2. All right! Now we will construct a line from the center of this quarter circle to this vertex of the square. This line is also the radius of the circle, and thus it will be 10. Great! Now finally consider this right triangle. This side is x over 2. This side will be x over 2 plus x, or 3x over 2, and the hypotenuse is 10. So, using Pythagoras' theorem, we get 10 square equals x over 2 square plus 3x over 2 square. This will be x square over 4 plus. This will be 9 x square over 4, and it will be equal to 100. This will become 1 plus 9, or 10x square over 4, equals 100. So, 10x square will be 400, or x square equals 40. Our question was to find the area of this inscribed square, and since its side is x, therefore the area will be x square or 40. This is our answer. Don't forget to put the square units. So good!